Very nice to meet you, Jack. Nice to meet you, Mr. Owen. I'm sure you're going to take real great care of the JW.Borg Hotel this winter. And you'll have the title of Hotel Overseer. You're a window washer, right? Sort of. I'm a pioneer and elder. Window washing is just how I make ends meet. But taking care of the JW.Borg Hotel this winter is just the theocratic assignment I need. Great. Our dead season here runs from May 15th to October 30th, and then we close down completely until the following May. The governing body like to come here in the summers. In the winter they usually go to Hawaii or Tahiti. First class all the way. Of course. <laughs> They've had some wild times here. I mean real wild times. Stuff that we would never let the rank and file JWs know about. They just wouldn't understand. Do you understand, Jack? Sure. I understand. Anyway, the winters can be fantastically cruel, and the basic idea is to cope with the very costly damage and depreciation which can occur. The Watchtower Society wants to keep this place in great shape for resale value. So your job will consist mainly of running the boiler, heating different parts of the hotel on a daily basis, repairing damage as it occurs, and doing repairs, so that the elements can't get a foothold. Pretty much the same thing we have the SAP publishers do in taking care of our kingdom halls. Well, that sounds fine to me. Physically, it's not a very demanding job. The only thing that can get a bit trying up here during the winter is the tremendous sense of isolation. Well, that just happens to be exactly what I'm looking for. I need some quiet time to catch up on all my elder stuff. How about your wife and son? Oh don't worry. They'll love it. I don't want to sound melodramatic. But there's something that's been known to give a few people second thoughts about the job. I'm intrigued. I don't suppose they told you anything in Denver about the tragedy we had up here during the winter of 1975. You know, after that failed prophecy. I don't believe they did. Well, my predecessor in this job hired a man named Charles Grady. As the winter hotel overseer. He came up here with his wife and two little girls of about 8 or 10. And he had a good letter from his last congregation, good references and from what I've been told. I mean, he seemed like a completely normal JW elder. But at some point during the winter, he must have suffered some kind of a complete mental breakdown. He ran amok and killed his family with an axe. He stacked them neatly in one of the rooms in the west wing, and then he put both barrels of his shotgun in his mouth. We, of course, never reported this to the police. It would have brought reproach on Jehovah's name. <laughs> well, that is quite a story. Obviously some people can be put off by the idea of staying alone in a place where something like that actually happened. Well, you can rest assured Mr. Ullman, that's not going to happen with me, and as far as my wife is concerned, I'm sure she'll be absolutely fascinated when I tell her about it. She loves her murder mystery shows. Mom. Are you sure you want us to live at the JW.Borg Hotel? Yes, Danny. It will be lots of fun. There's nobody to play with. Well, let's just wait and see. I think we'll have fun. At least I'll have Tony, the little guy that lives in my mouth. Dad told me he got the job and we're both going to love it. What could go wrong? 